What is American civilization? American civilization is the way we Americans adapt and create to fit our own lifestyle. It's the way we improvise to make things better, more American, and of course, more fun. The best example is found in our motorsports recreation. <laughs> to understand this, we have to go back to 1970 when the US 90 was created. This was a three-wheeled invention by Honda when they made nothing except small-time motorcycles and dirt bikes. Although Honda is a Japanese company, the US 90 was manufactured and designed in the States. It was even introduced using a James Bond movie. Little did they know, the three-wheeler would shape America's recreation. The US-90 was produced for three years, opened to the public in 1970 for just under $600. It was a huge hit and especially famous for its balloon-like tires, making up for having no suspension. 90 is the size of the motor in cubic centimeters, or cc, and in 1973 Honda made the first release of an ATC-70, a smaller version of the US-90 with some improvements. This brought the age of the ATC, the all-terrain cycle, which is the same three-wheeler design as the US-90. Throughout the 1970s, Honda created ATCs to perfection, and the popularity started to grow. They created a 70cc, a 90cc, and a 110, which were all huge hits to the public. Starting the 80s, Three-wheelers were as popular as ever and Honda decided to create a 185cc, upping the game and giving out more power. It didn't stop there either, and in 1981, they created the ATC 200. After that, they created the 250cc. The power just kept rising, and with the power came more dangerous conditions, causing riders to often get injured. <laughs> Three-wheelers became known as death machines. Their high speeds combined with their easy tipping habits made for lots of accidents. In 1982, around 8,500 people were injured from three-wheelers. Numbers continued to rise and in 1984 alone, over 66,000 injuries were ATC related, 48 leading to death that year. In 1987, three-wheelers were banned from being made. At this point, other companies had copied Honda by making three-wheelers, but none were very successful. Honda came to a halt and needed a new design to keep making money. Their bikes were still popular and growing, but they needed something more unique. They already had motorbikes, and three-wheelers were outlawed, so why not try adding a fourth wheel? This is exactly what Honda did. They took their ATC70 design and just added one more wheel creating the first four-wheeler, or ATV, all-terrain vehicle. Although dangerous, these weren't so bad and had a lower injury rate. ATVs are still made to this day and have brought even more to the table. Honda and other companies, like Kawasaki, started to create larger four-wheelers. Eventually, this led to side-by-sides and then razors. The modern age of motorsports had begun. The Honda Odyssey was a go-kart introduced in 1977. In 1989, with all the recent regulations, Honda added rear suspension along with a few other changes to create the first side-by-side. -side. It became known as the Honda Pilot and started the modern UTVs. It is to note that Razors evolved from side-by-sides. They were just a bigger, more modern version, usually with four seats. However, Razors and side-by-sides are considered the same thing today. With the popularity of motorsports, land was set aside for recreational purposes only. Into the 90s and 2000s, 
Riders created trails all over the country, and piece by piece it was turned into designated riding land. The Bureau of Land Management, or BLM, has set aside more than 140 million acres for motorsport use only. Today, recreational motorsports is one of the most popular activities in the United States. This includes dirt bikes, three-wheelers, four-wheelers, side-by-sides, razors, and more. It all began with the Honda US90 and the ban on three-wheelers. That led to the four-wheeled creation which got bigger and bigger, bringing what we have today. The United States has adapted to the popularity and has made countless laws and regulations because of it. The spark of the three-wheeler has changed so much in our lifestyle today. This is what American civilization is. It's the way we adapt over time to make certain events fit our American lifestyle. Better yet, it's how we make the American lifestyle. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.